Hi everyone, so today I plan to take you guys with me as I work on redoing this piece of furniture. I got it from a neighbor, they didn't have use for it anymore, and I believe it used to be part of one of those either vanity tables or low benches. Uh, you see them in antique malls sometimes, like either side would look like this, like here would be another one exactly like this, and then in between would be like a bench or something to sit on, or just a low vanity table, like a dressing table. I'll try to throw a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about, but I think that's what it might have been because I see something used to be attached to this uh, part or this side here, but it really doesn't matter, I guess, what it used to be, but what I plan to turn it into is just a little nightstand or an end table, and I'll probably paint it. I know it looks pretty good, like the wood part, especially on the front here, but the top is that veneer, and I plan to remove it, and I know the wood underneath is going to look different from everything else, so it's almost easier to just paint it. Uh, plus it's really rough looking and I have some areas I may even need to putty so again just easier to paint it. So the other thing I have in mind to do with the piece is something that I've never done before. Um, I have this transfer that someone gave me, actually one of you, thank you Suzanne for this. I'm so excited to use it. Uh, it looks like it's just something that you can, like a decal that you kind of rub off you know, onto furniture or walls or a sign. Uh, and it's, it's got color, it's not just your, your black and white vinyl that I'm used to working with. Uh, it's kind of your French country design. I'm excited to try it. I've never done this before. Uh, I was thinking maybe for the top, once I have it painted. Um, I like to see it. I've seen pieces of furniture where they do it you know, along the front. Unless I change my mind there, but if I do it on the front, it would definitely go over a couple of the drawers. Like the design is larger than one of these little drawers would be. So I thought it would be more fitting to maybe do the top. So we'll see how far we come with that. Who knows? Maybe it won't turn out. I can always paint over it if it doesn't. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm excited to try something new. So join me as I work on this piece and enjoy. It looks like most of this will come off fairly easy, but if not, recently a friend told me that you can use a hot iron, like an old one, and heat it up, you know, as hot as it goes, and then press it onto the wood, and that will actually kind of melt the glue that's underneath, and you can just easily pull off the veneer. I know, maybe not the best idea to use a kitchen utensil to do this, but hey, it works. The first thing I'm doing with this piece is, of course, just cleaning it up. I fixed some dish soap and water, uh, going over everything, and then I want to remove the hardware. Uh, the paint I plan to use is just my usual Do It Best brand paint. In this case, I'm actually using an exterior paint. It's the same paint I had used for my she shed here recently. Kind of the first white paint I saw in my cupboard downstairs, so I just grabbed that. And the color is powder white. It's kind of an off, almost an off-white color, almost on the gray side, but to the eye, it'll look white. You know, pesky teeth, I got that pencil. As you can see, I have some stains bleeding through on the top here, so I'm going to go ahead and try this Kills Stain Blocker. It's not quite the one that I normally go for, the shellac base, but I don't have that on hand right now, so I'm just going to make do with what I have and hope for the best. The stain blocker that I used for the top didn't quite block all of the stains, so I ended up going with another trick that I've done in the past when I didn't have my shellac base primer on hand. I would just use an oil base spray paint. 
um, off and that will work too. In this case, I just used a white spray paint, gave it one coat and that took care of it. I did end up giving this whole piece a second coat of paint then. Here I'm painting the hardware with a white spray paint. I'll show you what I have here as far as this transfer goes. Um, the brand is uh, Redesign with Prima and I'm not sure at this point where you can actually get this but I'll try to do my research and put it down below in the description box. But the one I have here is called Floral Home and just beautiful designs. It shows on the back the four different designs that are in here. A little wooden stick to probably rub these transfers off onto your surface and then of course the actual transfers here so I'm kind of excited to use this design here it's so pretty and first I thought I'd put it on the top of the cabinet but I think I'm going to be brave enough and actually put it on the front and being that it's not quite long enough to kind of span over this whole area here, I think I'll just keep it from this point down. That way I still have this pretty little design on my top drawer showing. Um, and what I, I read the instructions on the paper and basically all I'm gonna do here is just find my center or space it evenly. And I have a piece of tape up here that I'll attach it. And then I have that little wooden stick that I'm gonna you know, rub it off onto the surface. And I wanted to mention my drawers here were not like they wanted to slide back. If I was to press on here, they would, you know, slide back into the cabinet. So I actually put books. I didn't get a video of it, but I put books behind my drawers to keep these drawers out, you know, flush with the frame. That way I'll be able to work with, you know, applying this uh, transfer here. So let's see how it goes. I've said this before, but I'm always just blown away by the kindness of you guys. Uh, I get these things on the mail, and it's always exactly, you know, things that I like. And just take this for example. Like, I've always seen pieces of furniture on Pinterest with kind of images on them, that shabby chic uh, style. Absolutely loved it and never really did any research to see, you know, how people go about to get that look. Always assume there's probably some kind of transfer involved, but... Here somebody sends this on the mail and it's just, it opens a whole new avenue of possibilities for me to work on furniture. I am loving this. I don't know what you guys think, but so beautiful. Thanks again, Suzanne, for sending me this. Uh, she actually sent a whole box of goodies and some more things that I want to try. But again, just amazing how you guys know exactly what I like. Here I'm just cutting along the edges, making sure that you know my decal won't tear then if I open the drawer, kind of separate it from the frame part. Um, it's amazing how thin it is, it's just like it's painted on. something else one of you guys send me. Um, I read it. I love it. In case you need a good devotional book. And today it really came in handy for another reason. I, of course, couldn't contain myself. I had to do another transfer. Uh, so I have an old fruit tray, I think is what it's called, or fruit crate that I'm painting. It's one that I picked up in a garage sale some years back. I'm painting it white.
I'm going to use this home one for the tray and it's a little bit too wide. Uh, it doesn't quite fit in the bottom of my tray. So I'm actually going to cut some off uh, right along the design where it'll still look okay, I think. I saw on another tutorial where you can actually sand these transfers a bit just to make them look kind of worn and rustic. In case you missed it, in one of my recent videos we have our new line of spring and summer candle scents out. Uh, so excited, this honeysuckle smells amazing. Can't wait to smell the actual honeysuckle blooms out on the porch. Should happen soon, but for now, this will definitely do. I gotta say, I could not be happier with these pieces. This definitely opened up a whole new avenue for me when working with furniture. Can't wait to try some more of these. As always, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.